So, Gatwick Airport's been closed for the last few days due to drones, apparently. But is it really a drone? Cue the music. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Keith. Um, I apologize, I've hastily put this video together. So if it's a bit rough around the edges, really sorry about that. But I wanted to talk about what's been going on at Gatwick Airport the last few days. Now, if you're a regular subscriber to my channel or you've watched the, seen my videos before, if you even know me personally, then you know I love drones. In fact, I'm probably obsessed with them. And I feel that the last few days, the media has not giving you all the facts about them. So I want to set the record straight. So if you've been living under a rock for the last few days and you've missed the news reports, but basically Gatwick Airport has been shut since Wednesday night due to reported multiple drone sightings. So it was briefly opened at three o'clock the following morning. And then there was another drone sighting 45 minutes later. So they were forced to close the runway again. That's basically what's been going on. Now it's uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday uh, in the UK and Gatwick Airport is now open again, but it has caused worldwide disruption. And if you're caught up in that, I really, really hope you get to where you're going as soon as possible. And my heart goes out to you. I'm really sympathetic. Please don't think I'm trying to take away responsibility if this is a drone. I just want to set the facts straight slightly. So ask yourself this. The world's media has been camped out there since Thursday morning. Almost everybody these days that's traveling through an airport has a camera of some description. Most of the time it's on your phone, but they do. Where, bearing in mind the media are telling you there's been multiple drone sightings, are there the images of this or the videos of this? Nobody has captured an image. Nobody's managed to capture a video. Or trust me, the video, the media would have been playing it on loopback, but they haven't done. So, I have to ask the question, has this been a drone? The media, especially in the last few years, have, have blamed almost everything like this on drones. And there are cases where it turns out it hasn't been. There was one at Heathrow last year where it turned out to be a plastic bag. And apparently there was one in Australia which turned out to be bats, yet the, the media were drones, drones, drones. And if you watch the BBC are guilty of this. Um, we get Sky News here, and they're definitely guilty of this. They will lead. They've been reporting that the, the consumer drone market is on the rise. That is absolutely true. It's growing year on year out. But most consumer drones that you buy over the counter or through catalogs or however you buy your drones can't just simply fly over an airport. That that is not possible. It is not even in the interest of these drone companies allow you to do it. So they build in safety checks. They build in what's called geo fences or geo zones, which are set as no fly zones and the drones will not fly into them. Most consumer drones that you buy have GPS. This helps them to fly. This makes them so easy to fly. If you if you don't have GPS on your drone or your drone doesn't have a GPS signal, it's not that easy to fly and most consumers won't be able to fly them. If you are a qualified pilot it's still quite difficult it's the gps and the sensor technology that make drones so easy to fly so most of the time these drones will have a gps signal and they really will not fly over an airport i haven't tried it but i've seen multiple videos of idiots trying to do it and they don't trust me you have to really know what you're doing and hack these drones in order to do this the reports, although they've been mixed from Gatwick, are saying it's not even a consumer drone anyway, if you read between the lines. A lot of people are saying it's quite big and it's a, it looks more like a commercial drone. Some are saying that it's a put together drone. The authorities have been saying that it's a modified drone. So it really, despite what some media outlets are saying, it's more than likely not a consumer drone. So please, if you don't know anything about drones, don't just think, oh, it's somebody that's bought a drone in Argos and then flown it over the thing, because you can't do that. You, you really can't, not without really knowing what you're doing. And I can't stress that enough. I'm not saying it isn't a drone that's going over Gatwick, and I, and I want to make that clear. I'm, due to how many sightings there have been, I'm pretty convinced it is a drone. I don't think it's an eco-warrior, like some media outlets have reported, because eco-warriors like you to know that they're causing disruption and promoting their cause. Nobody's done that so far. I also find it interesting that the police haven't tracked them down yet. Um, again, with consumer drones, their battery lives are quite limited. 
and their range okay on the Mavic 2 is about eight kilo but uh, eight kilometers but in the UK again because the UK has regulations over um, how strong the signal can be on a drone although a Mavic 2 can fly eight kilometers in the US it can't do that in the UK because the signal is weakened so again the likelihood of this being a consumer drone I don't buy it so you know before before all you out there start and the media especially start hating on consumer drones know your facts about them because honestly I'm like 99% convinced it isn't a consumer drone that's doing this. This is more likely something that's built a drone or modified a commercial drone for the, this. And it's more of a techno hacking thing to cause disruption. It's probably more like one of the, the, those kind, kind of things. I am surprised, I, even I didn't know how lapsed the UK law is. I thought they'd already introduced a registration program. I mean, as you know, I am, might be from the UK, but I haven't lived in the UK for over two years. Um, I knew that they were bringing out a registration process. Um, I thought they'd already done it, to be honest. So um, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, I should have really known that. But uh, if you're watching this video and you're one of the, uh, and you do own a drone, I think, I don't know whether you agree with me or not, but it's my personal view that drones should be registered. I have to register my drone in Thailand and I have to have insurance for it. I think that's good. I think that gives you responsibility. These are not toys and they can do serious damage there. So you should have a minimum of insurance and you should be registering your drone. So if you do do something stupid with it, you can't just abandon it because you should be responsible for it. As I said, it's not a toy. So I do agree with at least registering your drone. In my opinion, I know this is a controversial subject, but I honestly think you should go through at least a brief knowledge test that you shouldn't just be able to pick one of these up and go and fly it. As much as that's going to upset some people, but the amount of videos and, and posts that I see on all the DJI forums on Facebook, it does make me think sometimes, yeah, the general public shouldn't just be able to pick one of these things up because seriously, the amount of people that post videos or doing range tests over cities and nearly flying into buildings. I mean, even if the Mavic 2, if the Mavic 2 drops from some height on your head, that's gonna cause some serious damage. And it, it scares me. And I, I get really annoyed with people that post these videos up because all you're doing you're breaking the law. I mean, most of these people that post these videos are either in the US or a country where there are drone regulations. I mean, you have to keep the, the, a drone in the um, I, line of sight. If you don't do that, that's, that's the law in most countries, including in Thailand. And yet there are all these videos of people flying their drones five kilometers away. And you're like, why are you posting? You're breaking the law. So I say this to authorities, you should be going after these people. You should be prosecuting them. But at the same time, it's a really difficult subject. You, I, 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 I want the freedom to fly my drone, but at the same time, I want to be able to fly my drone without people, I don't know, without people thinking I'm bad. If that, I know that sounds stupid, but that is, that is really it. So if I have to take like a, a, a small test to prove that I'm responsible for my drone, then so be it. Because then it stops the media painting us all, all of us in a bad light because that's just simply not the case. So if you are a drone owner and you're watching this, please fly your drone um, responsibly. Please don't hate me too much for saying this because I know there's a lot of people out there against regulation, but I consciously can't support that. I I, I feel that you, we, we should be regulated to a point because I just see too many people that are being done with them. And, and that's the case. Despite what the media said and I said earlier, it is very easy to buy a drone and you can do stupid stuff with it. What DJI can't prevent you doing is flying over a city or flying over a large crowd. They can't allow for every idiot with a drone. But despite what the media do say, it is not, you can't just fly over an airport. That is true. So I'm going to finish off this video with, with this. Um, basically, as I said, please fly your drones responsibly. If you are, are somebody that doesn't know too much about drones, please don't just believe the media. The media these days don't always state the truth. We don't have the investigative journalism that we used to have for the most part. They are still out there, but not nearly as much as they used to be. I don't want to get political because this is a channel about drones and photography. So um, 
I'll leave the video with saying if you are watching this and you're caught up in all the disruption that's been going on, as I said, really hope you get home safely or get to wherever you're going safely. And I hope you get there before Christmas. Um, guys, have a great Christmas. And I am planning to still make another video. I wasn't planning to make this, um, but I've seen all the media reports. So I had felt like I had to say something. So I'm trying to make another video around the Osmo Pocket and GoPro why I'm keeping both, basically. So uh, keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed this video or found this video interesting, please hit subscribe button. Most of my videos will be a bit more polished than this. It was hastily put together, but I felt like I had to get it out there. So I've done this really quickly. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Happy flying and Merry Christmas and bye-bye.